Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper here. Glad to be with you for this new edition of Takedown. Let's start with number one ranked Oklahoma State. They handled their very first ranked opponent of the year, dropping 16th ranked Minnesota inside the Minnesota Sports Pavilion on Sunday. At 149, third ranked Anthony Kalika secured a 6-4 decision over redshirt freshman Freddie Stroker. John Blaylock kept things rolling at 157. He picked up a close victory, 5-4 by the way. Minnesota's Carson Blozma was his victim. Chandler Rogers recorded the first bonus point victory of the duel, pinning Minnesota's Brandon Kingsley in a minute and a half into the bout at 165. Seniors Kyle Kretschmer and Nolan Boyd both tacked on decisions and the Cowboys held an 18 point advantage at the break. Second ranked 197 pounder Brett Farr cut the deficit with a 7-2 victory over Preston Weigel, but Austin Schaefer, well, he scored the biggest win of the day. He upset fifth ranked Michael Kroll's 3-2 at 285 pounds. Nick Piccinini moved to 6-0 on the year with a 17-1 tech fall over Skyler Petrie, and Cade Brock came out firing on his way to a 10-2 major over Minnesota freshman Mitch McKee. Dean Heil closed the duel with a 12-3 major against Gannon Volk, and the Cowboys kept their undefeated record intact 34-3 over the Golden Gophers. All right, let's head to New York City, sweeping the five final bouts of the duel. Eighth-ranked Cornell down former EIWA rival Rutgers at the fifth annual grapple at the Garden. The Big Red struck first with two straight victories, first from Noah Bachman at 125, and then a 6-4 decision from Mark Gray at 33. Rutgers All-American Anthony Ashnall scored takedowns in the first and third period to give the Knights their first win at 141. And then it was Ken Theobald to top Joey Galasso to tie the score at six. Rutgers picked up the first bonus point of the duel from John Van Brill, but Brandon Momack locked up a cradle and then pinned Willie Scott, giving Cornell a two-point advantage at 165. Heavyweight Jeremy Sweeney closed the duel with a second-period pin over Razan Gross, and Cornell picked up their third win of the year, 28-10. to 10. Well, Before we head to break, let's take a look at the complete results from the fifth annual grapple at the Garden. Our college wrestling highlights continue after the short timeout. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Casey's General Store. In this town, there's only one pizza joint that has your best interests in mind. They make every single pie from scratch. With the freshest ingredients, 100% real mozzarella. Oh. And if your engine's running a quart low, well, they can take care of that, too. Casey's, famous for pizza. Right now, get free breadsticks with the purchase of any large made-from-scratch pizza.
Wow, 40 years. Time really flies. Don't seem like it's been that long. It seemed like only yesterday that I started out route delivering it to the stores. For over 40 years, we're really proud to keep the same quality ingredients and not change our recipe. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary by joining into our cookies recipe contest with a chance to win a Traeger Bronson 20 smoker. You can enter it on our Facebook page or cookiesbbq.com. Thanks for 40 years and we'll see you in another 40 years. Cookies is the one. All right, welcome back. The third-ranked Hawkeyes from the University of Iowa scored a huge, huge victory to open up the Big Ten season. It was 34-3 to over Purdue. Alex Meyer recorded one of the two tech balls in the meet, while Thomas Gilman, Topher Carton, Brandon Sorensen, and Sammy Brooks all picked up bonus points, and that's a big difference maker, by the way. Gilman opened the duel with six first-period takedowns and a 25-10 tech fall over Ben Thornton. Carton, meanwhile, hit three takedowns in the final period to top Kyle Eiersman, 19-8 at 141. Sorensen scored on five takedowns in the final frame to record his fourth major of the season, 17-6. All right, let's go on to Brooks. He recorded eight takedowns in two minutes, 40 seconds of riding time for a 20-9 victory at 184. Corey Clark improved to 7-0 on the year with a six-point shutout at 33, and Michael Kemmerer hit four takedowns for a 10-3 decision over Alex Griffin. Cash Wilkie hit the match, winning takedown with just two seconds left on the clock at 197. And Joey Gunther outscored his opponent 6-2 in the third period to take the match 8-4. You know, there's a lot of good things, but, um, you know, they were a team that came out to squeeze. You could tell right away, trying to keep it close. We're on our wrists, squeezing us tight. We did a pretty good job um, overall. Clark's match, guy, let that guy hang around too much, maybe. Um, and then Brooks, you know, I think we just got a little bit, he hasn't been on the mat in a while, so uh, now we're we're becoming um, seasoned again this season, Brooks is. That was a big match for him to get under his belt. All right, let's go to the Big 12. The duel of the week, the University of Wyoming took down Iowa State. Let's take a look. It was a good match. Uh, when you have some adversity or something that is different, you need to find a way to win. Um, and that's what Coach Branch expects us, you know. If he puts you on the mat, he expects you to win. Um, it doesn't matter the circumstance. Uh, he, ever since I've been here day one, you know, kind of a theme of his is just find a way. So, you know, as a fifth year senior, I hope to live up to that and just keep finding ways. And that's what I try to do today.
it's nice to finally get one. You know, like we kind of got beat down by Nebraska last week, and that just never feels good coming back in. Um, we just, I mean, shoot, I was just embarrassed about how I wrestled, how our team wrestled and stuff. So this last week, I was just focused, and uh, I'm real pleased with everything. You know, we wrestled tough as a team, and uh, I'm really proud of that. You know, he's one of, the, one of the hardest workers in the room, and he's a brawler. Um, he's always kind of been a brawler, but he's, he's starting to um, refine a little bit of technique, and he doesn't need a lot, but he, but he, he's refining some things. He's getting, he's getting confidence in ways that he can go score. We're just trying to get wins right now. We have a couple guys where we don't know where we're starting at which way, and um, everybody kind of stepped up today, you know, with uh, Brandon Tribble stepping up and wrestling a kid that weighs 100 pounds more than him and getting a win. Like, that's big stuff. We were excited last year getting him on the schedule and, and uh, having the opportunity to have him come here. You know, it's good to, to um, get a win at home, and, and especially because we have a pretty big break before we're back um, wrestling duels even. So, um, but, but it's going to be a while before we're back here. Um, so it was nice for um, to let our fans have a have a victory here. You know, nothing like the Uni Wild. It's great atmosphere, and I love it. Uh, fans are awesome. 7220 definitely helps. I just love wrestling here. I could definitely feel the crowd and feel the energy, and I think that uh, the team fed off of it, and that's what we need um, continuing on through the season. Moments like that, those are the moments that the good teams have. You know, when you duel and see good teams duel, um, they get excited when people on their team do good. They're up jumping and cheering, and they're pumped, and we need to do the same, so I'm excited to be part of that for our team. This is duel. Highlights from the Golden Grand Prix and more after the short timeout. You're watching Takedown. Thanks to Yellow Blue Ecotech. Yellow Blue wants to show you global energy demands are expanding at an alarming rate. Power grids in the U.S. are aging while coal plants continue to close at record rates. Utility rates are at an all-time high and there's no end in sight. If this concerns you, call Yellow Blue, delivering products and services that are not only green, but cost effective. You can be independent, safe, and secure. We'll show you how at yellowbluetech.com. All right, welcome back. World and Olympic champs from around the globe traveled to Azerbaijan just last week for the 2016 Golden Grand Prix, the biggest prize money event in all of wrestling. Now, normally we would tell you about the results, but we're going to try something a little different this week. We've taken clips from all 24 gold medal bouts in Baku and created the ultimate Golden Grand Prix highlight. Let's take a look.
special thanks to our friends, the governing body of our sport, United World Wrestling. Takedown continues after this short time out, brought to you in part by Nike Wrestling. Stay tuned. Yellow Blue wants to show you global energy demands are expanding at an alarming rate. Power grids in the U.S. are aging while coal plants continue to close at record rates. Utility rates are at an all-time high and there's no end in sight. If this concerns you, call Yellow Blue, delivering products and services that are not only green, but cost effective. You can be independent, safe, and secure. We'll show you how at yellowbluetech.com. In this town, there's only one pizza joint that has your best interests in mind. They make every single pie from scratch. The freshest ingredients, 100% real mozzarella. Oh, and if your engine's running a quart low, well, they can take care of that too. Casey's, famous for pizza. Right now, get free breadsticks with the purchase of any large made from scratch pizza. The war raged for generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. The warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defend so, defend what you have built. All right, welcome back to Takedown. Our very special guest today, head coach of the sixth-ranked Cornell Big Red, Rob Cole. He joins the program now. Coach, how are you? I'm doing great, Scott. Thank you. You got me perfect time. I'm sitting here in the sauna getting my gentleman's workout. This is the first time I've interviewed a head coach in all these years, 20 years now, sitting in a sauna. It's the first time for me. Well, is, what's no, the temperature? That's the first there? time they've admitted. That's the first time they've, <laughs> they've admitted that they've been in a sauna. <laughs> it seems like wrestling coaches take a sauna more than any other coach in any other sport. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you got to. Hey, you're so sore. <laughs> I'm so darn sore from those years of abuse. That right? Well, you know it's good for you. Let's talk turkey here, Coach, if we can. Buffalo gave you an early scare, uh, and I don't know if that's the right word or not, but did that give your team a bit of a wake-up? Because it surely was a different story when you were faced with the ranked team from Rutgers. Yeah, well, there was two situations. One, they wrestled, Buffalo wrestled really tough, and they and I think uh, Stutzman's doing a fantastic job with those guys. And two, that was the first time we made weight at one hour away, and it, and it makes a big difference. Shame on me for not making them. We don't do the wrestle off. We do uh, we let the team kind of self-select through tournaments. But there's a big difference between wrestling a one hour weigh-in in a, in a dual meet than you know, weighing in, having two hours of recover, having an easy match, and then going on it. You know, having really you're not really hitting it tough matches until five or six hours later. So it's a big difference that happened to us last year at Madison Square Garden uh, when we wrestled very poorly in those first two matches uh, last year. And, and next year we're going to have to make sure we schedule something a little differently because I, I can't have that. And, and uh, cause I don't need to take it away from Buffalo, but I think our team, you know, we have a, we have a stronger team than what we showed, uh, obviously, uh, because we came back and wrestled really well last weekend. Is your lineup set? Rob, or do do you have some holes to fill? What's your what's your uh, no. what's your take? Well, Dalton Dalton actually broke his hands. He had a pin put in in his thumb, so he he's out for a little bit at time. Of course, Dylan Placio was out. Um, you know, one ninety seven Ben Honus is wrestling really tough, but Owen Scott's also he gets he gets back next semester. Uh, so you know, there's you know there's, there's two three national qualifiers sitting out of the lineup right now. Certainly, uh, could could there could be some changes. All right, you've got one of the top-ranked recruiting classes in the country, Coach. How much recruiting is going on during the year, and how do you really balance it all? It seems like a lot for any coaching staff. Recruiting is never – it's a 365-day year proposition. If it's, if it's not, you're not going to be successful. I'll be honest, this year I, I got a little worn out after this, this last year and, and I backed off, and, and I need to get back on it again. But it's the name of the game. Kids don't start wrestling. Well, it went, and when I, well, shoot, when my father coached at Penn State, he would he'd recruit kids and, or, or have walk-ons ultimately make the team. That's not happening these days. When, you're, when you start wrestling when you're four years old, 
by the time we get these kids, they're finished products to a certain degree. And, and so, you know, it's, it's, it's no surprise that, that schools that are doing the best every year are also the schools that are ranked in top year and year and year out with the recruiting classes. Now I'm proud to say that we, we have not been one of those schools that every year that is a top five program. We're very, very seldom as a matter of fact. And, you know, I looked at our all American and national champion board and more than half the kids never won a state title. And those are the kids that I'm, I'm looking for. And, and, you know, we also take chances on, on kids from Hawaii and Tennessee and Alabama, you know, and, and, and you're seeing some of the success that we've been able to enjoy with finding some of these, uh, these, these uh, hidden gems. Rob, I sure appreciate the time today. Going one-on-one with you is always an eye-opener for me. I look at the world a little differently after we talk. I appreciate the time. You're heading off to, uh, uh, to Las Vegas to challenge for the Cliff Keen title. And there's going to be some tough squads out there. That's a grinder for sure. You've got to wrestle your boys a lot every day, and uh, uh, it's a big trip. So we wish you well, and thanks for taking the time to join me. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you calling. All right, thanks, Coach. Hey, we're out of time, wrestling fans. Don't forget to join us live this Saturday morning for Takedown Radio. And look for all the breaking news, interviews, and more at TakedownWrestle.com. For all of us in Des Moines, I'm Scott Casper. Have a good one, everybody.